Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of our Deped Itulay online tutorial for Grade 9 Science. I'm Tutor Bandong. Ayan, ako na-miss ko ang ating mga learners. I'm seeing a lot of learners from San Mariano National High School kanina pa, no? Talaga namang nakatutok sila. Kanina pa sila nandyan. Ayan, hello po sa inyo dyan. And sa kanal po ng aking partner na si Tutor Kevin na siyang inyong kasama nung nakaraan, ano? Uh, ako po muli si Tutor Bandong at ako naman ang makakasama niyo ngayong araw dahil uh, medyo naging busy lang tayo nung nakaraan. Nakakaraan, no? And, syempre pa. Okay? So, binabati ko muna yung ating mga teachers na talaga namang patuloy na sumusuporta sa ating Deped Itulay online tutorial, ano? Ang mga estudyante uh, natin, syempre ang ating mga grade 9 learners at ang mga parents na nakatutok din, no? Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok. At syempre, huwag niyong kalimutang i-share pa ito, no? At mas maraming share, mas marami tayong marireach. Alright. So, tayo ngayon ay nasa week 4 na. Ayan. So, ito na, umpisahan na natin dahil marami tayong uh, pag-uusapan. Okay. Ngayong uh, hapon na ito, ayan, it be, uh, because tayo ay nasa quarter for week 4 na, ito ay tungkol sa conservation of momentum. Alright? But before that, okay, so balikan muna natin no, yung pinag-aralan nyo with Tudor Kevin last week. Alright? Nung week 3, uh, Tudor Kevin discuss about momentum and impulse. Diba? So, nag-discuss siya doon. We're in uh, bigyan lang natin ng konting uh, mabilis lang no, na uh, review yung naganap last week. Okay? So, uh, Chitra Kevin discussed about uh, momentum and impulse. Okay? So, the force of impact. Ayan. So, sinabi ni Chitra Kevin, the force of impact is directly proportional to the momentum of the body. Okay? And inversely proportional to the time of contact. Ito, mayroon tayong... Uh, uh, maganda example nito, no? Uh, lalo na yung mga may mga sasakyan dyan, yung may mga kotse, no? Alam ko marami tayong mga uh, Pilipino na talaga namang marunong na mag-drive at magagaling mag-drive, okay? So marami tayong driver dyan sa labas. Even teachers, no? At yung mga iba nating may sudyante, they, uh, they know how to drive already. Alright, so anong magandang uh, application itong dinis kasi Tutor Kevin last time about momentum and impulse? Okay, so... Yung mga sasakyan, no? so if you will notice, meron siyang mga airbag, particularly yung car, no? meron mga airbag yan. Then itong airbag na ito, it decreases the impact force by increasing the time of contact. Diba? So napakahalaga nito, it will really save lives. Okay? So alam kong sumasang-ayon sa akin dyan, ang mga takapartida national high school, hello Ma'am Eleanor. Ayan, sa pamunguna yan ni Ma'am Eleanor Aquino. Of course, Malabon National High School, nandyan ang aking SDO Malabon. Okay, ang San Mariano National High School nga, ayan. At ang uh, Alibadabad, nakita ko na rin ang Alibadabad. Okay, nahandyan na rin. Ang Ocampo National High School, hello po sa inyo dyan. Ayan, so yun nga ang aking binabanggit, no, yung tungkol dito sa airbag, no. Dahil yung inflation ng airbag, okay, is initiated by a sensor. May sensor yun eh, no, which decreases the impact, okay, the impact force, okay, the impact force. By increasing the time of contact. Kaya, ayan, medyo nakakatulong yan para hindi masyado, di ba? Dahil na-increase na nga yan yung uh, time ng contact. So, hindi ka talaga, kumbaga medyo maliligtas ang buhay mo kapag meron tayong mga airbag. So, ito yung magandang application no, nung dinis ka si Tutor Kevin last time, alright? Pero ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay conservation of momentum naman. Okay, so but before we start, okay, so we need to have some reminders, no? And before that, syempre pa, ano ba ang ating most essential learning competency for this week? And that is infer that the total momentum before and after collision are equal. Alright? So, tandaan niya na, the total momentum before and after collision are equal. Alright. So, bago tayo magtungo dyan sa ating uh, discussion, we will first remind everyone of the following. Okay? So the first one is to, of course, so you have your module with you. Take the pretest prepared at the start of the module, right? Number two is to, you know, take time in reading and understanding the lesson. Okay, so I hope, no, itong mga nakaraan, medyo mahaba-haba ang ating bakasyon, ano? So I know you, you took time in reading and understanding your lesson. You need to follow instructions carefully, Okay, use a clean sheet of paper for your answers in each activity or assessment. I know you are, some of you are submitting, no? Dahil may mga limited face-to-face -face na rin yung iba. Okay, so number four is try to recall and connect the ideas that you had in your lower years. Okay, so lahat ng mga pinag-aaralan natin, i-stay natin dyan. 
Okay? So, lagi lang yan nandiyan because, you know, magagamit natin yan eh. Diba? So, uh, habang nagdadagdag ng level o habang tumatagal, syempre pa magagamit nyo yan. Kayo nga grade 9 kayo, sa so grade 10 nyo, sa so grade 11, and so on and so forth. Alright? So, let's proceed now with our number 5. Be honest. This is very important. When doing the activities, record only what you have really observed. Right? Number six, don't hesitate to ask. Obviously, your teachers are very accommodating. Kapag may tinanong kayo dyan, kahit may ginagawa si teacher at sobrang uh, busy yan, sasagot yan. Yun nga lang, medyo nakaroon lang ng delay because she cannot accommodate you simultaneously. No? Isa-isa lang. Okay? But, ito lang ang masasabi ko, lahat ng guro at ng teachers nyo ay very accommodating at talaga namang sasagutin niya lahat ng inyong mga katanungan. Alright, number seven is take the posters prepared at the end of the module. And lastly, you can check your answers in the activities you have there. Okay, so you have your self-assessments and posters. You can all check that, no? Okay, so now let's proceed with our topic. Okay, so syempre bago yun, kailangan muna nating ma-check Okay, so alam ko naghihintay kayo ng papremyo, no? Mamaya ako magpapapremyo. <laughs> Mamaya tayo magbibigay ng papremyo. Siyempre pa, magbibigay na naman tayo ng kaunting pang load para sa ating mga mapipiling, mga magigiting na mga learners dyan na magsasagot sa ating quiz, no? Uh, konti lang naman ang ating quiz, pero kapag kayo na inasagot lahat, ay nako, pipili ako randomly at magwawagi yun ng kaunti lamang na pang loda. Alright? So, hello sa mga taga-kaibiga. Nandiyan na mga taga-kaibiga at ang taga-Kirino National High School. Alright, the first question under pre-assessment is this one. Which of the following describes the law of conservation of momentum? Alright? Is it A, the internal force is greater than the external force? Letter B, the internal force is less than the external force. Letter C, if there is no external force, the momentum of a system is unchanged. Or letter D, there is no force acting on a system if there is a momentum. All right, answer mo, show mo. Okay, so tingnan nga natin kung merong konting knowledge ang ating mga learners on this. Is it A, B, C, or D? Answer mo, show mo. Type in in our comment section. Alright, so yan, hinihintay ko ang mga sagot ng ating mga learners with this pre-assessment, okay? With this question number one. Okay, so while waiting, hello po kay Ma'am Stephanie Rojas ng Pulong Buhangi National High School. Thank you so much po, Ma'am. Okay, sa so pag-guide sa inyong mga estudyante, ayan pong nandito si, ayan, si Antoinette, no? Alright, sabi ni Riza, may see, but she's not sure. <laughs> Don't worry, Riza, this is just a pre-assessment. Alright, so let us proceed, no? All right, o di ba, Risa, no? You are correct. If there is no external force, the momentum of a system is unchanged. That is the correct answer. Now, let's proceed with this next question. Which of the following describes the internal and external force of a system if it allows the law of conservation of momentum? A, internal and external force is equal. B, internal force is greater than external force. C, internal force is less than the external force. Or D, there is no internal and external force present. Alright, so tingnan natin kung kaya rin niyang sagutin. Si Risa, nasagot niya kanina, no? Let us try to uh, analyze the question. Ayan, tingnan natin ng ating mga learners. Hello, uh, Bernard, okay, from Ocampo National High School. Okay, so tingnan natin ang sagot ng ating mga learners. Medyo mabaga lang yung, uh, I don't know if that is my internet connection or it has something to do with, you know, your connection. I don't know. Okay, so pero nakikita ko na ang sagot ni RJ ngayon. Yes, according to RJ, it's letter B. But according to Angelica, it's letter C. So the correct answer to this one is letter A. Internal and external force is equal. All right, so let's proceed now with question, or with this next question. All right, based on the law of conservation of momentum, no? So yung, yung question yung medyo tricky, no? Parang paulit-ulit, pero nakakalito, no? Which of the following describes the momentum of the objects moving in different directions if they collide? Alright? Letter A, it is zero. B, it is equal. C, it is an equal. And letter D, it cannot determine or it cannot be determined. Okay, so what is the correct answer to this? Let me see. Ayan na, so sabi ni Leia. I don't know if Leia is answering the last question or it has something to do with this question na, no? According to Iris, it's letter B. All right, Ermeline is letter A, so they have different answers. So Angelica also is letter B. All right, so what is the correct answer to this? 
All right, it is equal. All right, so mamaya ma-discuss natin yan, no? lahat ng mga nakita niyo dyan sa pre-assessment. All right, so now, ayan, I'm, alam kong ready ng ating mga learners with our next question. <laughs> okay, so you are seeing an illustration there, all right, or a figure, okay? So what type of collision is present in the given picture? Is it A, elastic collision? Is it B, inelastic collision? Is it C, both elastic and inelastic collision? Or is it letter D, cannot be determined? All right, so what is the correct answer to this? If you uh, have, you know, some advanced reading, alam ko medyo masasagot niya ito. Tingnan natin, sabi ni Ma'am Maridette, it's letter B. Okay, sabi ni Ma'am Maridette, yan ah. Sabi ni Ma'am Ermeline, or ni Ermeline, letter B. Sabi ni Lisa May, D, all right. So what is the correct answer to this? All right. Siyempre, sabi ni Ma'am uh, Ermeline, ito ay inelastic collision. All right. So mamaya, i-discuss natin yung mga types of collision na yan, ano? Okay, so ayan ang ating pre-assessment for this afternoon. Thank you so much to sa ating mga learners na nagsagot. Please don't forget to share. Ah. Share pa natin itong ating live session today, okay? For grade 9 science. Konti na lang, no? We are now on week 4. Naku, ang bilis ng panahon. Okay, now. So let's proceed with our lesson talaga, no? So dito na tayo, tutungo na tayo, no? Sa law of conservation of momentum. Ayan. So I know nandiyan pang ating mga learners, no? They are still watching us live. Okay, so... What is the law of conservation of momentum? So, ano ba talaga ito? So, uh, in a closed, so you are seeing on your screen, in a closed and isolated system, the total momentum of the objects before, okay, the total momentum of the objects before the collision, okay, is equal to the momentum of the objects after the collision. All right? So, naku, medyo mabagal nga yung takbo na, <laughs> ng ating uh, mga comments, no? Kasi nakakita pa ako ng answer. Alright. So, uh, siguro dito yun sa live stream na, no? Kaya medyo late ang aking nakikita. Alright. Hello, Tiffany from Tala High School. Alright. So, ayun nga, no? Ang nakalagay dyan, according to this, no? So, yung law of conservation of momentum natin in a closed and isolated system, no? Yung total momentum, ha? Okay. Before, tsaka yung after the collision, ay equal. Alright? So, and also, no, ito pa, no, uh, you will also learn this afternoon, no, yung uh, uh, yung uh, different uh, transformation, no, yung various activities, no, events, something like that. Okay? So, ayun nga. So, according to that, kung ganyan, no, kung ganyan yung uh, law of conservation of momentum, definitely, external force, external force, no, is required to make an object accelerate. Okay, but to change the momentum, listen carefully, no? Change the momentum, an external force is required. All right? But no change in momentum if there's no external force. All right? No change in momentum if there's no external force. All right? So to add to that and to, you know, to uh, a bit elaborate yung aking sinabi, no? So yung... Remember, sa momentum, no, na-discuss ni Tutor Kevin yan, uh, you know, the P is equal to MB, right? So, where in the P is the momentum, and what is involved in momentum is the uh, mass and the velocity. So, let's say, for example, no, nga pala. Okay, so before we proceed, no, uh, meron tayong uh, airplane park in a hangar, and then a... Uh, and a tricycle lang moving at 20 meter per second. So definitely, ang may greater momentum doon ay yung nagmumove. No, kahit tricycle lang siya, yung sa airplane, di ba? So I know you can uh, recall that, right? So now, going back to this law of conservation of momentum, if the mass value okay, and the velocity value remains the same, the momentum will be constant. Okay? So magbigay pa tayo ng example. Let's take a look at this example. So I know you are very much familiar with the billiard game. Diba? Ito ay billiard. Sino kaya mga, mga boys mahilig dito sa larong ito eh, no? So they are fer, very much familiar with this. So let's say for example, ayan, no? Yung, uh, a bill, in billiards, the amount of force exerted by the cue ball okay, causes the target to move with the same amount of force but in, the, uh, but in opposite direction. Alright, so you will notice then, uh, you will notice that 
Okay, so yung cue ball causes the target to move. Okay, with the same amount of force but in opposite direction. Okay, and also, okay, sa billiard, no? Uh, when it hits another ball, will it gain or lose momentum? Definitely no, because momentum is conserved. Okay, so that's the uh, point there. No, momentum is conserved. All right. So mababanggit din. So ma recall din natin. No, we can also add to this. Yung Newton's third law of motion. Actually, we can also apply to that. Yung Newton's third law of motion, wherein for every action there is an equal and yet opposite reaction. Diba? Siya so, natatandaan niyo yung ating Newton's uh, third law of motion. So, maaari niyo rin ma-i-apply yung dyan, ano? Okay, next one. Okay, so binanggit natin kanina yung system, no? Yung system na tinatawag natin is a group of objects that, okay, interact and affect each other. So, we have the examples of the system that we're talking about, okay? So, here in the uh, conservation of momentum, no? So, ano ba yung nakikita natin dyan sa ating screen? So, we have there, okay, so yung uh, bowling tsaka yung pin, okay? So, meron kayong nakikita dyang uh, bowling and yung pin, yung tawag dun sa ano, no, pin. And also, you are seeing two football players there. Okay? So, uh, yan yung tinatawag natin na uh, ano, uh, system wherein yan ay mga objects wherein they interact and they are affecting each other, right? Now, okay, so let us try to analyze naman. Itong nasa kanang bahagi nyo naman na illustration or na figure, no? So, naging skateboards. Are you familiar with skateboards? So, marami na mga kabataan ang, uh, you know, uh, gustong-gusto yan, eh, yung ganyang uh, game, no? yung skateboard, no? Alam ko, yung mga taga San Mariano, I don't know, no? kung lahat. <laughs> Pero I know some of the people from San Mariano, nasa na high school, hello sa inyo dyan, from SDO Isabela, ay baka naging skateboard dahil maganda yung ambience dun sa kanila, no? Uh, I think the same thing goes with Tala High School, okay, sa Tala, dyan naman sa may bandang North, Caloca naman yan, no? no? Talagang Ah, uh, medyo pa ganun din yung mga daan baka marami ding nag skateboard there. Okay, so take a look at the illustration. So, two children on skateboards are initially at rest. Okay, they push each other. Okay? So initially they are at rest. So definitely kapag naka-rest yan, so walang zero, no? Zero velocity. Naka-rest sila. Okay? So the two children on skateboards are initially at rest. They push each other so that eventually Okay, the boy moves to the right, okay, while the girl moves in the opposite direction. So, tinulak eh. Okay, so ayun yung binabanggit natin kanina about this Newton's third law motion, no? Wherein for every action, there is an equal uh, but or yet an opposite reaction, alright? So, tell us that the force that the girl exerts on the boy and the force that makes the girl move in the other direction are of equal magnitude but opposite direction. Okay? So, yung boy tsaka yung girl, yung binabanggit natin kaninang system, di ba? Nagkaroon sila na yung system wherein uh, may interaction, di ba? May uh, interaction sa kanilang dalawa, yung between two, the two. Okay? So, si boy at si girl, they make up a system. Alright? So, now. So, remember that momentum like velocity and force is a vector quantity. Okay, so the momentum gained by the girl is of equal, so pagka uh, vector divide has magnitude, all right, and direction. So the momentum gained by the girl is of equal magnitude but opposite direction to the momentum gained by the boy. Okay, in this system, remember, no momentum is gained or lost. Momentum is conserved. All right. So ayan no naka naka nakatahimik lang eh di ba? So parang naka ano lang sila steady. Okay? So walang velocity, all right? Naka naka steady lang sila. May nagtulak, tinulak. Okay? So pag tinulak, okay? So naggo ng opposite direction, all right? So in that system no momentum is gained or lost. Okay, momentum is conserved, all right? Next one. So eto. Mag, magbigay tayo ng sample problem. Okay? So, yung sample problem na ito, so, yung sinasabi natin kanina, no, na momentum, yung initial momentum, okay, is equal to the final. Equal lang, di ba? Equal. So, let us have this sample problem. 
So two ice skaters stand together. They push off, okay, and travel travel directly away from each other, okay? So the boy with a velocity of 1.50 meter per second, okay? If the boy weighs 735 newton and the girl 490 newton, what is the girl's velocity after they push up? But remember, there's no external force kasi consider the ice to be frictionless. Okay, there's no external force. The ice is frictionless. All right? Now, so ano-ano ba yung mga given? So let us try to analyze. Okay, so let us try to analyze this one. So ano-ano ba yung mga given natin? So tingnan natin yung mga given. Ano? Okay. <clears throat> si Boy, velocity ni Boy obviously is 1.50 meter per second. All right? Based on the problem. Okay, so yung weight ni boy ay 735 newton. Okay, so 735 newton. And then, yung weight ni girl ay 490 newton. Now, we are looking for the, yung uh, hanapin natin ay yung velocity ni girl. Okay, so we will use the formula, but uh, let us first uh, analyze the problem, no? Uh, there's a big difference, okay? So you know that a momentum involved by mass and uh, vol uh, and mass and velocity, all right? But then you are seeing here weight, eh. okay? So uh, magkaiba kasi, guys, no, ang mass at ang weight. So pag sinabi nating mass, ito yung amount of matter, okay? Object contains, okay? So that is the mass, amount of matter object contains. But when you talk about weight, ito yung refers to the force gravity applies to an object. Okay, so we need to uh, solve first for the mass. Okay, so dahil ang formula natin ng weight ay uh, weight equals mass times gravity, which is 9.8 meter per second squared, right? So, uh, natatandaan niyo pa ba yung triangle? Okay, so pag ginamit natin yan, di ba? Usually, tinatakip-takip pa natin yan, eh, no? So, kung ang formula ng weight is equals to mass times gravity. So if we will be looking for mass, so definitely ang formula natin ng mass ay weight divide gravity. Okay? So let us try to analyze this one. All right? So I think sinasabi ko, no? If uh, the formula is uh, for weight, uh, weight is equals to mass times gravity, toss, okay? Well, we will use the triangle, okay? Or this, or we will... Uh, 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 analyze this one. So, mass equals weight divide gravity. Okay? So, ayan yung ating hinahanap. Diba, mass? So, we need to convert this weight into mass. Okay? So, let us uh, try to use this formula. Okay? Apply the formula. We have the... Okay. So, tingnan natin. So, mass ni boy, okay, equals... Alright? So, yung weight na binigay, which is 735 newton... Okay, so we will divide that by 9.8 meter per second squared, and that is equivalent to 75 kilogram. All right? And then, yung mass ni girl, weight ni girl, okay, divide, syempre, no, sa gravity, di ba? So, 490 newton, divide natin yan sa 9.8 meter per second squared, so we will come up with 50 kilograms. So, now, why are you looking at, so, by looking at that, no? So, you will notice, so, ma'am, but kilogram, because, you know, we are looking for mass, and that is kilogram. And definitely, yung single newton kasi, single newton, no? Represent the amount of force needed to move one kilogram, one meter. Okay? So, that's why it's in kilogram. Ayan, ha? So, remember that, ha? Uh... Yung newton, okay, single newton represents the amount of force needed to move 1 kilogram 1 meter. Alright? Okay, so, klaro tayo dyan, ha? Okay, next one. So, let us try to continue. Nakuha na natin. So, total initial momentum equals total final momentum, pero bago yan. Sandali muna, no? Dahil baka naiinip na yung ating mga learners at hindi pa sila nababati. Anong oras na? 2.44. <laughs> Alright. Hello po sa mga taga Ocampo National High School. I hope you are still there. Alright. So, ayan ang ating mga learners. Ayan. So, ayan si Shiba na nagbibigay sila ng mga uh, kanilang mga formula. Ayan. Okay. So, katulad yung binigay natin sa kanila kanina. Okay. So, let's proceed now. Alright. So, ayan na nga yung momentum ni girl, ni, ni uh, boy at ni girl. Okay? So, 
ito. Ito na yan, ha? Hindi din. 55. So, bakit negative? May nakikita kayong negative, no? It's because uh, yung negative sign na yan has something to do with the direction. Remember, they are moving on the opposite direction. Alright? So, yung negative yung isa. Alright. So, negative 75 kilogram times 150. Alright? So, we will be using, okay? We will be using the division property of equality in here, ha? Okay. So, yung binabanggit natin kanina, ayan. So, if balik muna natin. Okay, so yung 75 kg times 150 meter per second, right? So, ang sagot natin diyan ay negative 112.5 kg meter per second. And of course, uh, uh, kay girl, we have 50 kg. So, right? Now, we are looking for the velocity of the girl. Now, so let us try to use the division property of equality. Right? By, siyempre, ang dali lang, no, no? By dividing it by 50 kg, right? So, para makuha natin, so we will come up with the okay velocity of the girl so we will just you know cancel the unit okay so cancel kilogram cancel kilogram so what will remain is the meter per second because we are looking for velocity all right so the answer here is negative 2.25 meter per second so that's the velocity of the girl all right so ayan pala yung velocity ngayon the girl moves with a velocity of negative 2.25 meter per second opposite to the direction of the boy all right, so you will notice one. See, boy po is one point. What is the velocity of the boy? Okay, so in the problem, pansin natin, uh, the girl is moving negative 2.25. So yung negative, uh, yun nga yung direction, no? because they are moving on the opposite direction. The reason why they have different velocity as well is because they have different masses as well. Okay, magkaiba sila ng bigat. Okay, so now, ayan ang ating problem solving. No, I hope na nasundan ng ating mga learners because we will now proceed no we will now proceed with nako ayan na nakakita na ba kayo niyan so medyo tragic no pag nakakita tayo ng ganito okay so pag nakakita kasi tayo ayan nagko-compute sila thank you so much princess kimberly all right visa thank you so much for solving with me ayan thank you so much all right so now you are seeing on your screen isang eksena sa kalsada, which is very tragic. No? I don't want to see something like this on the road. Medyo devastating, di ba? So, pero, ayan ay, uh, you know, example natin, no? So, dahil ang topic natin ay yung susunod natin i-discuss, ay, may kinalaman dito, no? And that is, you are very much familiar with the term collision. Okay? So, ano ba ang collision? So, ito yung encounter between two objects resulting in an exchange of impulse and momentum because the time of impact is usually small. Okay? The impulse provided by external forces like friction during this time is negligible. If we take the colliding bodies as one system, the momentum of the system is therefore approximately conserved. All right? The total momentum of the system before the collision is equal, okay, take note of this, the total momentum of the system before the collision is equal to the total momentum of the system after the collision. All right? Now, so to express that, so we have total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. Okay. Collisions are categorized according to whether the total kinetic energy of the system changes. Okay? So kinetic energy may be lost during collisions when, first one, it is converted to heat or other forms like binding energy, sound, light, if there's a spark, etc. Right? Number two, it is spent in producing deformation or damage such as when two cars collide. Okay? So I repeat that. Huh? The total kinetic energy of the system changes. Kinetic energy may be lost during collision, okay, when it is converted to heat, or the other one, it is spent producing deformation or damage, such as when two cars collide, all right? Always remember that. Okay, now, the first collision is what we call elastic collision. So what is this kind of collision? Now, I have here a figure. All right, take a look at the figure. Nothing na niyo maigi. So, but before that, let us first discuss what is elastic collision. Ano ba ito? Elastic collision, one in which the total kinetic energy of the system does not change. Okay? The total kinetic energy of the system does not change and colliding object bounce off after collision. 
they bounce off. Okay? Nag naghiwalay sila. All right? So that is what we call elastic collision. So let us try to analyze the figure that you are seeing on your screen. Okay? So, pero bago natin yan i-analyze, ayan, good afternoon din sa iyo, Mary Faye Labog from Banquero Integrated School. Hello. Ayan, and of course, si Vina Garing Navarro. Hello, Madrid Johnson from Ramon National High School. All right, so let us try to analyze yung una munang, uh, yung nasa taas, no? Ano ba yung nasa taas? Okay, so yung una, yung nasa top, no? Moving object collides with a stationary object. All right. So moving object collides with a stationary object. So take a look at the example there. Take a look at the figure. No. So you are seeing there. Okay. The moving object ay kumulay sa isang nakahintong object. All right. So that is our first figure. The next one is the middle. Two moving objects collide head on. Okay. Pero after they, after na magsalpukan ganon, still nag ano sila naghiwalay pa din, no. Okay, so naghiwalay pa rin. Eh. Next one, yung nasa bottom naman, nasa ilalim na figure that you are seeing, you know, yung bola pa rin dyan. Two objects moving in the same direction. They're moving in the same direction, eh, but they collide. Okay, still after they collide, ayan. Okay, so naghiwalay pa rin sila. So you will notice on the first one, on the top, okay, yung nasa unahan, or nasa taas, yung object, binunggo ng nasa ay uh, may isang object binunggo yung stationary or nakahinto lang but they separate okay the second one in the middle dalawang objects na nagkabunggong ganyan okay nagbungguan silang ganyan okay pero nag uh, hiwalay the last one two objects moving the same direction collide okay so uh, nag-collide ganyan pero naghiwalay pa din sila Right? So, moving sila ng same direction, but they collide, but then, nagiwalay pa din. So, that is an example of elastic collision. Na? One in which the total kinetic energy of the system does not change and colliding objects bounce off. Right? Bounce off after collision. Now, ano naman tong isa? What is in elastic collision? Okay. So in elastic collision, one in which the total kinetic energy of the system changes, all right, converted to some other form of energy, okay? Objects that objects that stick together after collision is said to be perfectly inelastic. Okay? So if you will notice, ay but ganun ma'am yung kanina nagbunggo pero naghiwalay, but this time nung nagbunggo, nagkadikit at naging isa. Okay? So ito yan, tingnan natin example natin sa ibaba. All right, so you can see here, ayan o, two objects collide, stick together and move as one. Hindi na naghiwalay, so sobrang grabe, no? So nagdikit, nagkulay, okay? At hindi na naghiwalay and move as one na. All right, so that is what we call inelastic collision. All right, so ayan, ayan. Tingnan nga natin ang ating mga learners. Andiyan pa ba? Ayan, hello, Graham Moore. Andiyan pa si Graham Moore. Okay, so, and, okay, sabi ni John, kan, an elastic collision in one in which part of the kinetic energy is changed to some other form. Yes, thank you so much, John Kyle. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so, thank you so much for your input. Ayan, so, natutuwa ako kasi nag-i-interact ang ating mga learners. Talaga namang uh, uh, nakakataba ng pusa, no? If they are really following you and, uh, you know, they are trying to type in yung kanilang mga nasa isip na talaga talaga namang uh, nakakatulong sa atin. Uh, thank you so much. Okay? At alam kong uh, uh, kayo ay nandyan lang talaga para matuto. Ayan. Thank you. Ayan. Si Antoinette T. Hernandez. Hello from Pulong Buhangi National High School. Hello, Ma'am Stephanie. Thank you so much, Ma'am Stephanie, uh, for, uh, you know, uh, allowing your uh, students to watch our Italy session. Thank you so much, Ma'am Ch uh, Charilene Estebar. All right. So that is what we call in elastic collision. So now you can see the difference no, between elastic and inelastic collision, all right? Still watching, Richelle. Thank you so much, Richelle, if you're still there and watching. Okay, now, ayan. So, ang dami na natin binanggit on the law of uh, conservation of momentum. Of course, we have this uh, collision. We have this elastic and inelastic collision. And it's already 254, <laughs> all right? So, meron na tayong 
Tanong, ayan, ako, ma'am, ang bilis naman bumubungad na sa akin ang tanong. Bakit naman? <laughs> okay, dahil mamimigay tayo ng papremyo, no? At meron pa nga akong bibigyan ng mga certificate. Tutor Kevin, I know you are listening to me. Ayan, Tutor Kevin, meron tayong mga bibigyan na certificate. Okay, so meron nang hingi ng ating certificate yung mga nabigyan natin. So meron pa tayong mga ilan na hindi pa nabibigyan. Don't worry, inaayos namin niya ng Tutor Kevin, all right? At talaga namang itong pagtatapos ng ito live, na kumadami tayong mabibigyan ng certificate dahil sa sobrang dami na nani, ang, uh, nakatutok sa atin palagi, ano? Okay, now you are seeing on your screen. Ayan na. Meron ng katanungan, di ba? I'm telling you. Bibigyan ko talaga ng counting pang load. Pipili tayo randomly. Ah. Kung masasagot, yung mga tanong, tatlo lang to, ah. Tatlong questions lang. Pag nasagot lahat ito, medyo, kasi pag kailangan ina-analyze mo, you know, medyo confusing yung question. Pero if you will try to analyze and uh, you've listened to me, okay, masasagot mo ito. Okay? Tingnan natin. Which of the following describe a system in a situation when there is a conservation of momentum? A. It refers to the interacting objects. B. It refers to the forces present in an object. C. It refers to the friction when the object is moving. Confusing, no? D. It refers to the gravitational forces of the moving object. But if you are listening to me a while ago and I keep on mentioning about this thing, I know you can answer this correctly. Which of the following best describe a system in a situation? Okay, yung tanong ko ah, nakakalito din yung tanong ko. Which of the following describe a system in a situation when when there is a conservation of momentum? All right. <laughs> Parang wala pa ako nakikita ng ano ah. <laughs> Natin na ako nisa. <laughs> All right. Most of our learners answered letter B. At ang nakita nila dyan ay yung forces present in the object. But remember, ah, when there is a conservation of momentum, ah, boy, naku, may nakita yata akong tamang sagot na. <laughs> okay. So, ano ba ang tamang sagot on this? Yes, it refers to the interacting objects. Remember, I keep on mentioning about this one a while ago. And I even mentioned about the Newton's third law motion with regards to this, no? So, the correct answer is that there is a bit more yata yung nakita ko, no? Na tama ang sagot. Alright, let's proceed with question number two. Don't worry, dahil yung randomly, no? Hindi ako pipili na nung perfect score. Randomly, yung mga nagsagot sa ating quiz, yun ang bibigyan natin ng 100. Laki, no? <laughs> Napang-load dyan, kaunti lang yan. No? Pero I know it will help you learners, okay? So, ayan, tingnan natin itong question number two. Or pangalawa na to. Which of the following is a characteristic of elastic collision? Both conservation of momentum and conservation of kinetic energy are observed. Okay? B, a collision where the colliding object are distorted and heat is generated. C. The energy changes into other energies such as sound energy or thermal energy. B. A collision in which kinetic energy is not conserved due to the action of internal friction. Nako, ayan na naman. Medyo, ayan, nako ma'am, nako confused na naman sa iyong katanungan. Alright, so tingnan natin kung masasagot ng ating mga learners ito ah. Ayan, pero I'm seeing, ah, so far I'm seeing correct answers this time. Alright, which of the following is a characteristic of elastic collision? Alright, so the correct answer to this is, ayan, may nakita ko eh. Alright, but conservation of momentum and conservation of kinetic energy are observed. Definitely, it is because yung ating pinapadescribe or pinapakarakterize ay yung elastic collision na, baka nagkaroon kasi ng confusion. Alright, so the correct answer is letter A. May nakita akong tamang sagot. Alright, next, let's proceed with this question. Which of the following? Is a characteristic of inelastic collision. Inelastic naman tayo, ah. Inelastic collision. A, momentum is conserved. B, kinetic energy is conserved. C, kinetic energy is not conserved. D, the colliding object does not undergo deformation. Ayan. Ito medyo madali ito, ah. If you will try to analyze, signan natin kung may makakatama dito. Ayan, ako yung nakikita ako. Okay, tingnan natin, learners, no? Ayan, thank you so much. Ako si Ma'am Maridette. Hello, Ma'am Maridette. Okay, thank you so much, Ma'am Maridette, no? Ang, uh, uh, ang napaka-supportive talaga, no? I'm so happy na laging nandyan si Ma'am uh, Maridette. Alright, 
Ayan, ako nakikita ko ang mga sagot nila at mukhang tama sila. Mukhang marami akong mabibigyan <laughs> pa premium this time. Alright, the correct answer to this if we are talking about inelastic collision is kinetic energy is not conserved. Of course, tama kayo. No? Thank you so much. Ayan, alam kong alam na alam nyo talaga yan. Okay, so I hope Marami kayong uh, natutunan ngayong hapong ito. No? Siyempre, hindi tayo magpapaalam ng wala tayong words to ponder dahil alas stress na. Okay, so I have here, when a good leader, so because we are talking about momentum still, no? when a good leader sustains momentum, a great leader increases it. Dinadagdagan pa. No? So parang kami yan, no? parang mga teachers niyo yan, learners, no? na kami ay uh, inaano namin, binubus namin ang inyong mga... Uh, eh, Uh, energy na talaga ng mga kinukuha namin na sinasabi namin sa inyo na tuloy nyo lang ang inyong, uh, hindi kami tumitigil no? ang kulit na nga ng mga teachers, di ba sa pagtawag sa inyo, kailangan mag sustain natin ang inyong momentum sa pag-aaral kahit kayo ay nasa bahay lang. Lahat tayo gumagawa ng paraan, kaya meron tayo mga uh, dep ed italy online tutorial na ganyan, okay? Dahil ang great leader, ini-increase pa yung momentum na meron kayo sa pag-aaral nyo. Okay, kaya dinadagdagan pa namin 'yan. Gusto namin 'wag tumigil, okay? Gusto namin nandun pa rin, okay? Yung inyong sigla sa pag-aaral. Kaya naman nagpapasalamat ako. Ako at nakikita ko 'yan. Okay? Nakikita ko 'yan dahil kayo ay hindi bumibitiw sa panonood sa ating Ito Live online tutorial. I'm seeing a score which is a perfect score. My goodness, thank you so much. Ayan, ako natutuwa ako dahil may mga perfect score. Pero dahil pinangako ko na I will randomly choose, so I will choose one dun sa mga perfect at I will choose one also, okay, na mabibigyan natin ng counting pang load, dun sa mga nagsagot, okay, na may mga scores, ayan, na Two, over, two out of three, no? isa lang naman ang mali. Eh, si Betcha Mar, naka three over three na naman. Ah. Talaga naman. And si Kyle din, three out of three. Ayan, ako. Isa na namang hapon. Okay, thank you so much, Ma'am Eleanor. Okay, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga teachers, learners, okay, parents na tumutok sa atin ngayong hapon. Tayo po ay nasa week four na. At next week, syempre pa, week five na tayo. Huwag tayong bumitiw. Panatilihin natin ang ating momentum. <laughs> Okay, hanggang sa muli, makikita-kita po tayo muli. Hanggang sa susunod na lunes, ganun pa rin po, to 20 to 3 o'clock. Susunod na po sila Tutor Ichard at Tutor Rainer para naman po sa grade 10 science. Maraming maraming salamat. Maraming salamat sa ating mga learners, teachers and parents. Hanggang sa muli. Thank you. Paalam.